first bands coming out with the Coddle and the Undying. And I, Undying is also one of those heroes that in this patch, I think he is stupid. He's very, very seconds. good. He's got a very buff hit here and Omni can like destroy the game by himself. Five seconds. I mean, he's a good solid laner. He can destroy the team fight just alone. He puts it on the front line, just suicide. And you cannot kill him. It's the best thing about him. You cannot kill him. You need to focus him on the team fight and you cannot kill him. It's like immortal. Exactly, especially with like the new drum boots, which are really good for the hero as well, because you kind of want to chase everyone down, hold the lock it, make it feel stupid level amounts. And uh, what, level 10 talent is 15 cooldown on his tombstone, then you got level 15 talent of like heal increase on the... Like, the hero is pretty solid. Coddle is also like... I, I, Coddle is my baby. I love Coddle, my favorite hero in the game. <laughs> and it's just so much fun because he combos so well with a ton of different heroes. Yeah, he's, he works with, with everything. I mean, is there anything that he doesn't work with? I mean, when I play Coddle as a position 5, my safe lane tends to go for anti mage. That doesn't work. That does nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, you have a point. <laughs> you got me. You have a point. 10 seconds. Okay, they banned the Lash Rack. I think they would pick it on the ping. Uh, I think no ping Please will come with Chen. Okay, you, yeah, you said it previously as well. You believe in the Duster yeah. Chen. Okay, interesting. I think, you know, in this patch as well, like, Io is also really solid. That's why I think the Lash Ban is a, a, probably a good choice as well, because combo that really well with the magic damage amplification on some heroes. DP. It's is it's a DP five. And the Good immediate counter. counter. Yes. It's it's amazing response to DP. I mean she's using it now. There is nothing you can do. EL on the first phase. Interesting. I mean they banned Lash, so it you know you yeah. kind of could already smell it coming from a mile away. And it's uh -huh. against the Mars, which you can most of the time just dodge half his spells, Shadow Demon. It's kind of hard to catch the real PL, even though creating his illusions is pretty nice. Yeah, but it, it's still kind of risky because they can, they have the, their position for open. They can pick something to deal with the PL. I mean, Mars is a good hero to deal with PL on the lane. Ten seconds remain. Personally, I don't like PL Radiant the first phase so much. Let's see if they yeah. surprise me. I, it's surprising to me that they banned the Tiny out, which normally... Yeah, I, they banned I, the Tiny. I, you know, Tiny doesn't care about PL at all. Like, he just runs around yeah. with his 30-odd armor and 4k HP, and PL can't Ten touch him. Yeah. I think they was worried about the Tiny on mid lane, because they, they can deal with the Shadow Demon easily. I mean, about their draft on no ping, yeah, they need to build something to protect the Shadow Demo. He don't need, or oh, he cannot die on the team fight Ten no matter what. Remain. Because he, I think he will the only thing to do with the Five DP. Seconds. It is radiant span. A Jakiro, interesting. Jakiro is also, I mean, last batch at the end especially, Jakiro got picked up by kind of everyone. Uh, slight changes made in the patch, not like a nasty nerf or anything, so the hero is always pretty solid. Wouldn't have actually been the worst hero to pick yourselves, because Ice Bath is very good against PL. Uh-huh. And Gamma as well, like, you drop the Macro Pyre into the Mars Arena, and especially now that you can't, like, I mean, PL can still get out, but you can't, like, cookie anyone over the arena or jump you know, any way out of the arena anymore, which I think is a great change because you can do it with, can't do it with Disruptor's uh, kinetic field. Why would you do it with the arena that is twice as high? Yes. Well, hard PL counters, hard PL DP counters right now. Who do you have in mind that no ping would go for? Think back. It is, well, Melancholy is, of course, uh, the, uh, he likes Mandy, to play so. with solid, yeah. He likes to play with solid carries, who like one v nine the game, like more playing those stuffs. I think they will come with is they maybe. Oh, they better. I sorry. <laughs> oh Jesus. 
I actually just for the for I, I uh, just opened yeah. Mandy's like well, well melancholy right now, but I opened his Liquipedia page just to to see uh, what his signature heroes are that it states. Um, it says Meepo, Axe, and Puck. Uh, what? <laughs> hmm, that's that's interesting. I guess. Yes. I gotta open Dota buff right now because that that doesn't make sense. Yeah, uh, they. The good thing now is like they don't need to pick a uh, specific carry to counter the peel because the pango will do this work. You need to pick something to carry now to carry the game, actually. Well, I'm actually checking out. Okay, so now I do have his correct page open, and I'm checking out the heroes that you know he likes to play at least on that main account. And it comes down to Ember Spirit, Band, obviously. Uh, the same bands. Uh, okay, for the most part, the hero Troll Warlord. Troll Warlord could be pretty good. Could be good. Could be good. Works very well with them. PA is also a hero that's like solid. Even more. No. Okay. Quap Tusk, very annoying. DP offlane Tusk for Quap mid PL save. Quap, you know, he's gonna have a solid lane no matter who he faces. Hmm. Angelier Shadow Demon could make this a Pango 4. Would definitely be a hero that I assume RDO plays. Sexy Fat definitely yep. plays it as well, but yeah. Yes. I don't think they will be, they will put Mars on middle. I personally I never seen Suits playing this Mars on mid laner all my entire life. I think they will still put this Pango mid laner. They will pick it maybe more fling, I would bet. Juggernaut. Juggernaut, maybe. Juggernaut with his, with his shard and the uh, Maelstrom will deal with PL, will deal against their team. I mean, I cannot see Juggernaut dying here. Have a solid push with the team. Works very well with the Mars, with the Arena. Hmm. <laughs> That's a tough one. It is definitely a tough one because yes, safe lane is a kind of dwindling quickly that are decent against the PL because that's the big problem. Pango is pretty decent. Mars not so much. Lena, of course. Well, oh Lena, good against the Quap. Like it, there's yeah. very little to almost no heroes that are good against Quap, and Lena is like one of the only ones. Not the good he like hero this patch though. Yeah. 10 seconds. The best thing about it is they Five can still put seconds. the Lina 4 or the Lina mid. I think it's still open. They will decide it on the, the final draft. And they can just give the last pick to their carry now. They have a free game. Just like I said, they have a lot of stuff to deal with the PL. They just need to pick something favorable to, to carry the game. Because they will have enough space to uh, to create for him. Oh, this is a toughie. I've actually seen. Uh, I mean, it's probably not the greatest against like a Tusk and PP, but uh, I've seen um, Wraith Kings being picked up as count just to PL because uh, the level twenty talent, I think, where he gets the twenty five percent cleave and stuff, and Radiance build yeah. has been coming up a little bit more. Uh, Again, so I'm not saying that they're gonna go for it because uh, I don't think that Steeny is that nuts. <clears throat> uh -huh. But yeah, with Gyro now also banned out, like it, they're almost being forced to pick PA or Troll at this point. Yeah, I think a Troll Warlord with the Agonings will be so good. I think PL will be Ten using this against him completely. I've always uh, been a big fan of the troll, especially I've seen like some yes. trolls go for like even mid trolls going for like Ag's first item and it's like 25 mana cost or something for his wording axes yes. on a four second cooldown. But so farms about the same speed as Battle Fury. It's actually pretty yeah. nuts. And with the 15 talent, uh, his axe will do just like 200 damage per axe, something around it. Five seconds remain. Well, last band coming through. They, I mean, I assume that dreamers are actually this could be a DP five, 
And it seems that they're expecting yeah. this to be a DP5. Uh, with the way Noping ban out the heroes. So that would mean DP5, PL safe, Tusk or Quap could technically go off lane or mid. They can still swap that around. Even though it's not like superb. Uh, yeah. Yeah, DP will go 5 for sure. She's countering uh, the Shadow Demon. I don't think there is a uh, reason to put him on the mid lane. Yeah, there he is. Beastmaster 3, Tusk R4. Very solid lane, Tusk Beastmaster. You get the vision, yeah. which is good against Shadow Demon. Just in general, if Shadow Demon ever walks away from his tower, he's dead in that bottom Tins lane, uh, top lane. Remain. Yeah, there will come a Troll Warlord here, for Five sure. Seconds. Oh, BA. Okay. Well, you know, okay. it's one or the other. It was a 50-50. I don't really yeah. think there's many other choices that were still... Unless you're going to go like nuts and pick Elk. <laughs> <laughs> Would be cool to see, honestly. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly would have loved to see Alchemist. It's always, like, one of the stupidly good heroes against PL. But uh, you, you just don't get to see it because, you know, people don't want to give us some fun. We're just going to see PA, which is unsurprising. You did say, like, he picks, you know, the the normal safe laners, the, the staple yep. strong safe laners. PA was kind of still left in the pool. And Dreamers must have known that, that either that or Troll yep. was coming. I think Dreamer will have a problem on this safe lane. Uh, oh, it's Sexy Fat actually. Pango soothes Mars. Yeah. RDO Le Okay, so it's a whole different story all of a sudden. Okay. Yeah. Mars mid. Kind of very strange. Mars mid, Lina 4, Pango Lear 3, BA 1, Shadow Demo 5. Honestly, if I look at just the drafts, I like Dreamers draft more. Personally, I uh, still like the no ping one here. I just would like to see the pingo middle. I think it would be better to deal with the PO. I mean, they did that. Uh, they had a reason to do that. No? Let's see what's gonna happen right now. I'm curious on how this game is gonna go. I, I mean, I've seen... You know what I'm just thinking? It's been a while, but you know, you pick up a mid-Mars, you get the Aghanim Scepter, you say, screw you, PL, <laughs> and he can't do anything. Oh, I would like to see Aghanim's Mars. Very unlikely, it. but it could be yeah. pretty fun. <laughs> It could be, could be very, very fun to watch and to play, of course. Uh, they didn't oh, change gotta, anything I... about it, did they? No, no, they didn't. Oh yeah, we are, we have the Dreamers, their full lineup, of course. Uh, when you see the draft, it does not show their full names, but when you, we enter the game, you can see it. It's Blake, Miggy, Jimmy Cough, Draken. And I can't pronounce the safe laner's name. <laughs> Tiburonsen? Tiburonsen. Tiburonsen. Okay, Tibu. I'm just yeah, gonna yeah. call him Tibu. Be better, better. Yeah, let's see what they can get. Oh, suits. There is a hawk nearby. Won't be spotted. Smoke's gone. These new bounty runes with the patch, the, the sw swap positions, just bring so much more fight at the start. Almost every game brings a fight. Yeah. This time it's not the case, but, you know, they, there's always an invasion from the enemy team. Every single game. Yeah, both teams need to be careful on this level just one. Both teams now. have the, the possibility to build their first blood. Sure. One. The stalwart remain true. Oh, personally, I would like to see the, some map chains on the new patch. Oh, yeah, but that's kind of what everyone was looking for. But, you know, yeah. Valve's like, nah, everyone loves the outpost and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we changed the bounty room positions. Patch is, uh, is fixed. It all comes down to this. Oh, Piao just lost 
half of his HP. It's gonna be your John to see the lane phase. Also want to see like neutral items getting booted out and new coming in, like the rotation. But then like not add in um uh what's it called the repair kit. Never ever ever bring in the repair kit. Oh ever yes, please never. The Necronomicon, please never come back. <laughs> oh, Necrobook. Honestly, Necrobook made so many, like, Warlock was so much fun with Necrobook and uh, Deme uh, Dazzle as a hero to be playing with that. Necrobook was fun. It wasn't fun against, like, Lycan and Beastmaster, but that's, you know, it's, it's very rarely fun to play against Lycan or Beastmaster. LDP trying to get aggressive, taking a lot of damage here. Pixie Fat going for the right click spam, but uh, DP's got a fairy fire healing salve. Should be just fine. Yeah, they need to try to abuse of death on level 1. Because on level 2, they will never step on the lane again. Against the Lina. She will be very, very annoying against the PL. I mean, they are trying to control the lane for him. The council depot. General Lena is just no, never fun to play. Highest, uh, furthest attack range hero in the game has a four position support. You're just pretty much always gonna take a lot of damage because the right click damage is also extraordinary. Yeah. And then you have a pango in there as well, who brings a lot of damage to the table. Yeah, and he's almost immortal with his second spell. 15 reduction per hero. That also. Is that only per hero or? Only per hero. Okay, I was thinking maybe illusions. I. Nah, nah, nah. But it it works against people against the four meeples. It's a cool thing. Okay, that's kind of cool. I remember also like when you play bounty hunter against meepo and you track all the meepos, you get like track gold for every meepo that like. Everyone that you tracked, which is so cool. Even though you should never play Bounty Hunter against Meepo. I didn't know about it. See? At least that something. used to be the case. I assume that's still the case. Yep. I guess. Haven't even played that much Bounty Hunter against Meepo. That is disappointing. Sooth's really struggling, but yeah, kind of to be expected. He's playing Mars against a Quap. Quap with a lot, two points on Shadow Strike. Holy shit, the lane bottom lane though. It's first blood for RDO. Four position RDO coming in clutch. Dragon Slave onto the PL. One more hit. Sexy Fat going in. Get the smack. Double kill bottom lane. Easy for noping. There he is. Top lane. Melancholy getting gone on. It. He's showing his huge transition. Dire have fortified their structures against attack. Force lows are nasty, but uh, nowhere near enough damage taken on uh, the PA. The best thing here, uh, PA is almost on the top network. Uh, at the PA, we have a struggle to go back into the game. Top lane actually does start. I think they're gonna try and go on Draken. Creeps are under the tower, fortified as well, so. Both sides definitely need to be a bit more careful with their approach. Audio doesn't care. Yep. You said it, level 3. He's a monster. Yeah, he, he just right clicking him now, and it says that, yo, get out of here, it's my lane now. Soothes is actually being bullied out of the lane. Almost level 5, but Miggy gets both uh, the water runes, so he's gonna have uh, be fully regened up as well. They're ho hoping right now for Dreamings. They need to wait for this copy, get level 6, and rotate to bottom, mostly. And they help this PL get his game back. Or wait for an opportunity. With uh, their run on minion 6. That's a bit of a tough scenario. Soothes really can't do anything against the Quap. Top lane, Melancholy's got himself the Orb of Corrosion, which is also very hard to deal with. 
uh, for two melee heroes. Like, they have kill potential on the side of Noping, though they need to be careful as well. Duster's getting gone on, Melancholy trying to farm up some boars in the meantime. But Duster is kind of very stuck, does still have a fairy fire as well. Still staying alive for the time being, Shadow Poison stacks. Nowhere near enough damage, but Duster, he thinks Salve actually keeps on going. Blake, three Shadow Poison stacks, dropping low, and Blake is definitely dead. The kill goes to Melancholy, and a very big uh, turnaround play coming through from Duster. Oh, this master will die too, for sure. That's huge. God, he so slow. Well, to be fair, he does have Helm of the Iron Will. They're gonna go in. That's very aggressive. He is finally gonna die. But there's Miggy. They get the kill onto Duster, looking for Melancholy. And the PA can Phantom Strike. He's gonna go for the Miggy kill attempt. But Sonic Wave oh. just for good measure because Miggy doesn't randomly want to die. So yeah, it's, a, it's a little bit, well, risky as you can see. Trying to dive the tier one tower that early. Yeah, it's a little dip. Uh, he's trying to do the maximum aggressive that he can before the beast must get his level six. Now he's get le uh, he's got level six. He's very close for, from his dominator, and uh, his boar is very strong now. For 500 HP per boar, that you choose. Yeah, but PA is almost level six, so then you got crit, and it turns the yep. other side, <laughs> just a random crit, and like your boar is dead. Yeah, but you need to counter with gaming to that. Yeah, that's you always need that little bit of uh, gaming love. But to be fair, that's the way the game works. Just like yep. with Bara, you know, that seventeen percent turns into seventy-one percent when you need it most. No, mine is everywhere. And golly. He's looking for the centaur conquer. Yoink! <laughs> Lake's nearby, Duster rotating in as well. Dragon is level 6, so they need to be careful because Quap does have a TP available. Uh, no sonic wave, but you... Yeah, you get roared, you pretty much put yourself in a tough spot. Duster, he's actually the one getting roared. Can't get the disruption off and will die. Melancholy being forced back with a TP top by Miggy, but that's a wasted TP, or is it? Well, Sue's actually, as the counter move, Arena comes out, Draken's gonna get caught. Snowball save Whoa. though, that one is huge, but is it gonna be able to keep him alive? Quap rotating through, Draken is dropping low, Miggy is here. Melancholy is gonna get bursted down and is dead. Sue's. Ice Shark's Mark block? Yeah, he's got a Sonic Wave ready on Miggy. Wow. Mars just died after using his TP. But the good thing for no ping is he all died on bottom too. So that's kinda even now. Because they will get to the bottom tower, they will create a lot of space after that. The uh, PL is definitely struggling. But he's only a little bit behind Sooth and net worth, though. That's uh, one big plus for the side, for the Radiant side. Yeah, but the, the sad thing is, PA is 1k uh, ahead of him. I'm trying to give them hope here, okay? <laughs> yeah, they give PL the top lane. To be fair, with the Beastmaster, the Helm of the Dom, they should take down the tier 1 tower and then he can farm that area. Same with the PA, of course, going to the opposite end of the map. Yeah, I mean, since the Beastmaster get his Helm of Dominator, there is almost nothing you can do about the top tower, or the bottom tower he's playing against. You just accept it, or just trade the towers. I think it's the best thing you can do. Duster, I mean, it's it's tough to defend your jungle against these heroes. Get roared, you die. Tusk is almost level six as well. By the way, Blake's a level thirty Tusk player. Always like to see it, though. People that uh, have that, you know, specialist hero amongst them. Yeah, it's really take a while to reach the level thirty. My highest is 20, I think 21. Ooh, Arena comes out, but a great silence from Jimmy Coffin. Return soothes. Well, won't be able to get much more done because he can't yeet his spear on top. Yeah, Soothes is definitely also struggling this game. 
Radiant's bottom tower is in danger. Eh, he's not Dyer's very happy right now. Is under attack. But see, it's, it's something like you, uh, you expect. We... They put the Mars against the cop. I mean, they can deal with it uh, on the on the mid game after he get his blink dagger. But the sad thing is, it's very far point. Just finish up. Yeah, he just got a soul ring. It's gonna take forever until he has uh, the blink. Does have a haste bottle, so it's the next best thing. And they do have a lot of magic burst between, like, the Pangalier, the Mars, and the Lena. Like, they can take down yeah. anyone on uh, the side of Dreamers in a flash. Speaking of which, oh, Duster hey. getting gone on, disrupts himself, surrounded by enemies, and that's going to be an easy pickup. The easy pickup, they lost the middle tower, and they have the, the Russian window up right now, because they have a Tusker, and they have a Disnarator with Dominator. Also, they have Exorcist, they can run to the Russian right now if they want. It'll be very early, and a bit dangerous, of course, because Rolling Thunder, Arena, like, if they actually rotate there, and you don't, Exorcism is running low. Yeah. Could cost you pretty much the game immediately. <laughs> Ooh, Jimmy Cough gonna get taken down. Rolling Thunder in. Blake hoping that he gets boosted up the high ground, and Sexy Fat does give him that nice yeet. But the arena from Sooth makes sure that he can't get any further. He tries to go for the big plays. Almost got it. I yeah, it was a pretty impressive six. play. Yeah. RDO. Ah. Sad. And also that new Wild Wing Ripper hurricane effect, which is so cool. The old one was so garbage. Exorcism coming out. Demonic Bridge has been used on Blake already. He's trying to go in. Wars Punch. Can he get it off? Yes, indeed. Soon being held. Sonic Wave. Jump forward. Does he try to keep his buddy alive? But look at that DP just going amongst everything. In the meantime, Melancholy coming in from behind. And this PA is very scary. Miggy jumps right across them, but he needs to get back. Nice silence from Jimmy Goff. Honestly, this DP is doing work so far. Oh, she's very thinking right now. Uh, it's the best uh, bad thing on no ping because if they didn't shadow demon wait in case the ultimate or someone else that's not the the DP, she's free on the team fight. Tower is in danger. Yeah, he's having his game back. He have Yasha. He's half money from his defusal blade. So most back to the game. Yeah, he's just he, you pre like. Four minutes ago, you said PA's 1k ahead. Now they're only 300 yeah. gold apart. Yeah, the game, game changes. I mean, PA tried to fight a little bit. She got a BAFK trying to farm. He's almost closing from his BF too. Oh yeah, that Battle Fury, of course, is going to change yeah. everything very quickly. Part of the game is that everyone just trade farmers, reach their their timings, wait for their ultimates. Uh, Dream is waiting for Exo. They cannot play the team fight with the Exo or the Sonic Wave. And uh, no ping, just need his items. They actually don't need to do anything. Just they just need to wait for the PA got his items. Well, he needs a couple of them. Uh, he needs a lot more. Than just his Battle Fury to be able to fight. I mean, you probably need what? Battle Fury, Dasso BKB, and right now they're gonna walk into the pits, and yeah, there's no one on the side of Noping that's near enough to counter it. They take it very quickly. Would you give it to Quap or PL? Uh, cough right now. Or PL maybe. He's very close from his diffuser. Oh, he got his diffuser already. He's ready to fight. Uh, no ping is troubles right now. 
Uh, T Boon now ahead of Melancholy, but of course, Melancholy farms a lot faster once the Battle Fury comes up. Walking up the high ground, Duster needs to be careful. There is a very scary PL with the defusal. Snowball in. Disruption on the high ground, and now Blake, he is stuck. Danny Aisha block himself down to the low ground. Yes, he can. Good champ. That is a level 30 tusk right there. Level 30 tusk right there. Uh, Yao yeah, reached the, the, the PA's farming. And. Oh, Jesus. How are they gonna stop this PL right now? Do they have the, the medical death? It will be enough. Let's see. I mean, look at RDO's farm. He's done with a full Aether Lens. He's going for the Yules. I think he forgot that he's a four position. Because uh, he's still playing like a safe laner. How much farm must he have yoinked from his course? <laughs> oh, I never seen there a super poor farm at this point of the game. Look, he's almost level 12 on 60 minute game. Jesus. He's loving life. Does that? I was thinking, yeah, it's probably not like superb. Um, I've only ever done it when I played like Rubik and stole the spell with Ags. But I was thinking about like that Lina Laguna Blade, which is kind of cool. You like zap all the PL illusions. It's yeah, especially because they changed it now, where it's. Uh, sorry, uh, that was the shard previously. Actually, they, they removed that. I completely forgot. Now they made it a very yeah, weird fiery soul thingy. Huh. Deals 10 more damage for each fiery soul charge. But don't you get like 9 stacks or something? 7 stacks. That's 70 damage per spell. Or. Oh. Not bad. Yeah, he's the... He oh, died. that is actually pretty big. He just got his Battle Fury yeah. as well. He just got Battle Fury. And, uh, also, in this middle time, Piao just got a free kill on the Shadow Demo. He's very close from his terrorist right now. Oh, he went to Manta style first. Good choice. Elsus has a blink. One big plus. Still, I mean, he is right behind Draken. His farm is actually not that bad anymore. And they are 2k net worth ahead on noping. But pretty much that difference in net worth is literally just RDO. Right? <laughs> That's all the difference they have. <laughs> He's a farming machine with his Lena. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Tier 2 for tier 2 trade. Sexy fat doing good trade wars. Yes, not bad, but not good, even for both teams. Dyer's top tower is Yo, just attack. finished his Manta. Uh, they're gonna have some troubles to kill him now. They need to deal with him before he's finishing his Heart of Taurus. No, oh, Draken's got the f o Ogre Frost Mage and is spamming Ice Armor on everyone. Oh. That is actually pretty good against PL. Yeah. A uh, PA, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Twenty seven armor on PL on eighty minutes of game. It's great. Nice silence, but the arena comes out. Suze gets the spear onto Blake. Jimmy Cough is gonna get the money purged. Doesn't have his ulti though, so he's not really that big of a threat. RDO, Laguna Blade finds Tibu, the correct one, but Tibu, of course, he's got that Aegis, so he doesn't care too much if he would lose his first life. Great, I shot block, Sexy Fat trying to roll to safety. Doesn't have the mana for a TP, still rolling out to freedom. Actually, now does get himself out to. Oh, well, he does escape. Duster, though. Look at his position. And Tibu's like, wait, did I see that correctly? Indeed, I did. Yeah. Duster's gonna. Leap onto the high ground. I just block. Oh, the read wow. from Blake. He knew he had himself the uh, miniature blink, aka the Tumblr's toy. That was a very solid prediction. Yeah, level 30 does here right here. Yep, like level 30. Man knows his stuff. Oh, no ping is in trouble right now. This. They have the lead of the network, but it uh, doesn't mean anything right now. Because they don't have ultimates, they don't have the, the Bangalore role to respond to the tower. 
maybe the Dreamers can take this tower. They can take the counter over the map. They're almost locking the the Dolphin on their base. I mean, RDO is still so freaking farmed for a forward position, but if Lina goes on top of him, like it, it, it PL goes on top of Lina, like there's nothing he can do. Like, he can hit an LSA yeah. maybe, but he's just gonna slowly melt. Yes. Oh, Miggy. Disruption coming in. No backup, but has a BKB. Tries to turn it onto RDO. Gets demonic purged. Very slow, but will be just fine. First BKB charge yeah. use, though. BKB charge use at the. Uh, PA is almost close. Almost finishing his BKB. Maybe they will try to do something after that. If they just keep it trading for me. I uh, don't think they would have enough to deal with this bill. Yeah, Suze also almost has his BKB up, which is gonna be used. I mean, a Sexy Fat got his Blink Dagger now, he's going for the Load Sorb next, which it's a very solid Load Sorb game, considering uh, Jimmy has been hitting so many nice AoE silences this game. Yeah. Every time he uses his silence, he just got two people or more. Pretty huge. Sexy Fat, I think he's been spotted, and this is a very interesting smoke gang coming in. Sexy Fat jumps in on towards uh, the enemy's high ground. Look at his position on the pango. Why? <laughs> <laughs> he's waiting for the next wave. Oh, Jesus. That's some crazy stuff right here. But the best thing about it is no one expected this. Not even yourself. <laughs> he only gets a range creep though, so. Yeah. Sad. He missed the first spell, unfortunately. That was a good play, for sure. Uh, DP is almost his level 12. They will, they will push the tower after tower after that. And uh, this master is about to finish his dagger too. Oh, no ping is in troubles right now. <laughs> the best thing they can do right now, uh, they just got the BKB on PA. They they can try to hit the smoke. Uh, maybe come back on the game. I mean, they need to try something. Next Roche will... Oh, it's a long Roche timer. Yeah. <sighs> That's unfortunate for Dreamers, because if they manage to pick up Roche right now with a free shard as well, uh, that could make some it so much easier. Like, get yeah. that free shard on, like, a PL. I think Pop is getting his delivered right now, but if you got the free one on PL, it's so good. Yes. I mean, if they had the version right now, the game was almost over, because they had no, no chance to kill this PL or Cop either. No, you just uh, need to pray to your lord and savior, Gaben, to uh, bring you the RNG. Oh, they really needed this middle tower. Ooh. Oh. She fat dancing with the devil. I risk high reward. Yeah, they know where Noping is. Yeah. Oh, but there's the arena and oh. souls. They'll at least get themselves the mid tier one tower. But that's, that's an arena somewhat. gone. Yeah, that was a nice reaction right here. Jimmy Koff, though, walks out of position, gets caught out. Disruption comes out. LSA, but the BKB in time from Miggy. Sonic Wave comes out, going for the dust to kill. Melancholy jumps on Miggy, and he gets crit down into oblivion. Buyback from Jimmy. He's going to get bursted. Melancholy going absolutely nuts. Soothes is on the run. Tibu's trying to chase, but he blinks out because they don't hit him within three seconds. Rolling Thunder from second C Fat continuing on. And in the meantime, Melancholy has just been knocking people dead the entire time. This PA is going nuts. Where did his damage just come from? Oh, that's why it's a beautiful fight from the opening right here. Oh. Tibu still alive, though. Got his full heart finished. Using to go for the heart instead of the Scotty. Interesting choice.
when, it's better. When do you go Hart and when do you go Scotty? Uh, you go Scotty when you're playing against uh, heroes who have a high region. Like uh, DP, for example, Alchemist, heroes like this. Uh, you can go for Heritage of the Rest to all, all games like this. Uh, when you need to kite the fights. The same delusions, watch the, the, the whole world burn. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I. Uh, interesting. They don't have that much regen, that is very much true. Melancholy kind of is terrifying right now. They want to go for Roche, which is up. They know exactly where the enemy is. Suz does have a Blink Arena at the ready. Also got the shard available as well. Roar comes out. They're going to go for the Mars, but they're rolling Thunder in from Sexy Fat. Snowball Dodge coming through. They blow up Suze. Aisha's block as well to hold them back. Blake is in a bit of trouble here because Sexy Fat does a lot of damage, but that means Rolling Thunder is on cooldown. No buyback from Suze. Duster's on the run, and Duster, well, he tries to disrupt to keep himself alive, but he's surrounded, and now Duster is next down the line. And Melancholy can't fight at the moment. Like, he needs that distraction of an arena or his teammates fighting on one end to take down the supports, but this is just gonna be Roche for free, Evil Dreamers. Oh, look at the speed of this version, Jesus. Oh my god. Russian finished it. Uh, Piao is going to the Orc at Malevolence. Interesting choice. Well, it's now more of a core item anyway with the patch changes. But it's like, what, cheaper? The item buildup is, I think, minus the 20 int? Yeah, yes, yes, was 20 before. And I think now if you upgrade. Upgraded. Don't you use the Witch Slayer for it? Oh yes, yes. It's very good when you're playing against magic heroes, like on this game, specifically. Oh, Rip Blake. He shall be missed. But then again, you know, he's a tusk. Kind of... Uh, he did his work. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's doing an amazing job right here. He's playing very, very well. He's showing he's truly level 30. Meantime, PA going for a Ayaskadi himself, and then picking up the Ags after. Well, the Ags is just always so good on PA. Uh, Dreamist, right now we have a window to try to close the game. They are just waiting for the, the Exorcism. They just need to try to lock the the Nopping on their base. They need to stick together and they push the tower after the tower. And uh, the, the best thing no pingy can do to respond to it is just play to the game like the way they're doing. Ooh, Duster. What is he? Duster? Oh. Why did he continue oh, yeah. to blast the creep wave <laughs> when he saw that the quap was literally next to him? <laughs> He's suiciding to cut the wave. The I mean, <laughs> to be fair, yes. It's not that the creeps are that far behind it though. Like, the next creeps are already coming in. Creeps do runty damage, except for the range creeps. They do piercing. Yeah, I have no idea what. <laughs> I need to reread the patch notes exactly on how all the the piercing, the, the damage styles of all the creeps work. <laughs> oh, is waiting for the agonies. Who's waiting for the egg? Sorry. Lina, Lina is going for Agonist right now. Oh Tried my lord, yeah, but yeah, that's RDO. He actually went for the shard, which is that damage increase on his spells with fiery soul charges. Wait. Think it will be enough to deal against Piel? I don't think. Mm. Oh, this Piel is pretty tanky. The high They've got right XO here. as well. Look at it melt. Jimmy, nice silence, but forces the BKB onto the PA. Melancholy going in, Jimmy Koff getting bursted. Jimmy Koff is dead. That is, of course, the Scotty reveal as well. Snowball to the side by Blake trying to disengage, but he gets absolutely smacked down. Tibu does, of course, have the Aegis, so he's going to go in aggressive. Duster very low, but he's trying to go for RDO. Duster with no HP on the side. Tibu can't really find the, the right focus. Targus here. 
But the big plus is PA does not actually have a BKB in the process. RDO is going to get bursted. Or is he? Tipu, like his entire team is dead. They're rotating in. Migi is nearby and Tipu is going to lose his first life. As a second, there is also Blake in case it's needed, which very much is the case going in. Aunt Sexy Fat Mana is drained on the Pango, but again, Tipu is completely alone and his entire team is pretty much dead. They didn't even get the melee racks. Like, they... Yeah, uh, they think they got the racks. He got completely outplayed in that fight. Yeah, beautiful play by no ping. They just kited it Biel forever. Biel just lost like almost 12 seconds running after the supers with the, the Ghost Scepter with the Disruption. I mean, look at that damage difference. PA did 8.6k. PL did 3.5. Like he literally yeah. didn't could could not get on anyone in that fight. Yeah, their fault were uh, right here was to try to fight. They don't need to fight. Just they just open the exo. They just cover the uh, the exorcism. They just cover the beastmaster and they get the rex after rex. They don't need to fight actually. Also very you know like Lina's got Yule's Ghost Scepter. The Shadow Demon's yeah. got Disruption, Ghost Scepter. Like, you want to nuke the supports, but they don't die. It means you're going to kind of need to get a Nullifier, and he does have it queued up to possibly go for it, and honestly, he probably needs it because you need to one-shot the supports. Like, immediately at the start of the fight, Lina and Shadow Demon need to be dead. Speaking of which... But this Lina is, this Lina is doing huge damage right here. Duster. He's got the shard. Oh yeah, now you have demonic Mark. cleanse on a different spell, which is kind of cool. Actually, one of my favorite changes on the Shadow Demon. In comes the fight. Arena comes out, but it's gonna be Blake skewered to the side, taken down. Sonic Wave comes out. They blow up sexy fat, but Miggy is getting critted by Melancholy. Miggy gets blown to smithereens. Jimmy cough, same story. Melancholy goes ham with his crits. And Sue's dropping low, but without H uh, mana, he won't be taking any more damage. Melancholy pops the BKB going in for Draken. And yeah, this, this PA is just unhinged. He is unleashed. Tibu, he's surrounded. His entire team has been obliterated. And that is a dead PL. I think you can pretty much call that a G to the G. You can call it, actually. I don't think there's a way that Dreamers can go back in this game. They just lost their timing like twice in the game. Uh, this PA is huge right now. He's, he finished the satanic, he's like 600 gold away from it. Uh, he just won't die anymore. I don't see a way that this PA dies. He's going for satanic. Now you need that Ariscati on the PL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's too late. Yeah, it's pretty much a little bit too late. Melancholy, full satanic being uh, finished. Mid tier two is being pushed as well. They can, I mean, they probably have one more fight in them, but honestly, with the way that the engagements are going, like they're being completely outplayed. Team fight min maxing that they're doing on noping is just so yeah. much stronger than uh, the one on Dreamers aside. Yeah. I mean, their their team fight is so solid, and it's not because of the heroes; it's because of their synergy. Slowly but surely, get a oh, two set of racks picked up. They're gonna go in onto Melancholy, but BL just respawned Melancholy. He's got that Satanic, of course, but he's getting disrupted. Keeps him alive. Pops the BKB. Wants to. Go back in. Pops the satanic doesn't actually heal with the satanic. But they did get two kills, so yeah. I mean, if you walk out of base, you're just gonna die. Oh, well, 10 seconds for Russian. I think they just wait for it, get the Russian, and they end the game. DP just used his egg. Oh no, he's gonna have the Exo, actually. I mean. At this point, like, he's two, kill two ticks away from PA, PA blowing him up. Yeah, I Ardeo's think got his ags. Ardeo has his Aghanim Scepter. He can buy bots as well. Look at Ardeo's farm. Is this man just the next god position four or what? <laughs> <laughs> Illusion. 
He's playing very good actually. I'm impressed, I would say. I wasn't expecting him for a hit. Yeah, I, I also kind of have my doubts. Mainly because like the hero that I know him most for is like Terrorblade. <laughs> uh, eh, no, you can't really play that as a support. Wraith King. Eh. Oh, wait. You can play Lina too, wait. Oh. Yeah, he, and then he plays Lina for a position, which mm, Lina doesn't get played in mid this batch, let alone for a position. Oh, poor DP. Run! Stays alive thanks to the shard. The fear coming yeah, out, but the... soothes, going in aggressively. Gets a uh, safely demonic purge because, God, that I, I love the shard on Shadow Demon. It is so so much nicer this patch that you can actually like you get a different spell demonic cleanse instead of having to use your demonic purge to heal someone broken honestly I... uh... yeah it's almost like a bkb isn't it it kind it's a constant purge i think it doesn't yeah, do same... it, it... yeah it it's kind of Negative buffs for the duration. For seven seconds. It, it's a basic dispel, so it's not like the superb, you know, yeah. against stuns. But you constantly get rid of like roots, silences, that sort of annoyance. And I think it does. It still heal. Yeah, it's heal. On the final. Yes, yes, yes. After seven or oh, seven, it heals you. Yeah, Five hundred healing. Yeah. Does. Okay, no, Demonic Purge does not give you three charges of that, because that would be really broken. <laughs> oh, Dustin now dying. They lost two on the side of no ping. Roche is up right now. That is a free refresher shard. Well, not free, because of course buybacks are available. Melancholy jumping in, going for Jimmy Cough, but there's the use of the Ghost Septicom and out. Continuing forward, Melancholy jumps in, doesn't want to pop his BKB just yet. Snowball to the side. DP's still alive for a little bit longer. Melancholy pops his BKB. Satanic is on cooldown. Actually, it needs to be a little bit careful. Does get the safe demonic purge coming through. Disrupted as well. Sexy fat. And the gang chasing in after Tibu, who is now going to be surrounded. And Tibu, of course, hit by the LSA from RDO. Taken down. Miggy on the run. No buyback available on the PL, who actually. He finished up the Bloodthorn instead of going for that nullifier. Now he doesn't have uh, a buyback. He tried to go for Aoi in this fight. I don't blame him, honestly. I mean, I get that, but the nullifier would have yeah. been great because Bloodthorn, you know, yeah, you can constantly hit the PA, but guess what Shadow yeah. Demon does? What you could just go for the super with the nullifier. Yeah, and then Shadow Demon, he just demonic uh, cleansed the, PL, uh, the PA, so the PA, like the Bloodthorn gets removed instantly, and then it does nothing. Yes. Oh, that, that was a good game to watch, honestly. Oh yeah, big comeback coming yeah. out, and honestly, like, yes. early game of Dreamers looked so good, like, they were on top of everything, for the most part, but I also do have to really, really commend the performance of uh, Melancholy and RDO that game. They looked so good. Yeah. I would say like Dreamers had the the game on his hands for two or time two or three times on the all the game, but I mean no ping just just had more experience. They play more. Yep. Um. I mean that was just the first of the series. We still have one, possibly two more. But honestly, this is the way that the South American DPC starts. I can't wait for the rest of the season. We'll be right back after a short break for the next match. We'll be right back.